It's running. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, what I'm working on is my six five hundred. It's a seventy nine uh, six five hundred custom. Um, the problem I'm having is there is uh, coolant in my oil, and what I have done is I've replaced the mechanical seal, and there's nothing leaking out of the weep hole. Um, I don't think that it's the mechanical seal. I could be wrong. I, I could have done a bad job there. I, I don't think I have, but uh, what I've tried to do is I'm trying to isolate where the problem is coming from. Some people have said it's a, uh, a blown head gasket, so I got a combustion gas leak test and I did that. I'm going to show that video here at the end and I didn't get any result on that. The, the fluid stayed blue. So that kind of turned into a puzzle for me, but I'm going to show you what I've done here and just so you can see and, and maybe you can help me diagnose what's going on. But uh, I've reattached the radiator. I've got the hoses all connected here and here. <clears throat> and uh, the spark plugs are still in. And yeah, we're good. You don't need to show that. And then I've even, I know that's totally backyard rigging right there, but uh, I shoved in this pen just into the the oil breather hose and put a C-clamp on it just so that it's uh, it's good. And here's what happens if I take a, a radiator pressure tester and if I pump this up, so I'm going to get it up here to 13 PSI and you can see, pretty just, just hold it still bud, thank you. You can see pretty clearly the needle just dropping. And so I have every hole plugged. I've got the oil filter cap is still on, the filler plug is in place, the spark plugs are both in place. Uh, like I said, the oil breather hose is plugged. And obviously this system will not pressurize. And so I'm I'm pointing everything right now still to the head gasket or something around that area. Um, obviously there could be a cracked head. I just I just don't think that's what's wrong, but not the cracked head, but the gasket. So I'm looking for anybody who's got any other ideas of where the coolant could be getting into the oil um, aside from the mechanical seal. That's what I'm looking for, and if you've got help, I'd appreciate it. Thanks.